Lesson 13, what's new in Adobe InDesign CS4. One of the new features in Adobe InDesign CS4 is the ability to export documents to the SWF Swift Flash format. Because you can do this new Flash format, you can put things like page transitions inside of your documents. Page transitions also work with PDFs. Let's take a look at how we can export this document as a flash file, .swf, and also how we can apply page transitions. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is get out the new page transitions panel, which is located under Window, Interactive, Page Transitions. And I'm going to apply a page transition by going to Choose from the panel menu. And let's choose Page Turn. SWF only, so that it only works inside of a Swift file, inside of a Flash file, and I'm also going to check Apply to All Spreads, and then I'm going to click OK. So now every single page has a transition of page turn SWF only. Now I'm going to save this document out as an SWF. To save it out, you go to File and Export. It's under Export that you'll find the SWF file format. Save file type. I'm going to just save this one to the desktop and I click save. Here's the export SWF options. You can scale it so you can change the size before it goes out because you are transferring things say from print into a web area. I'm just going to leave this at 100%. You could transport a page range and just choose like here we could choose just page one and two or a spread Generate HTML file is also checked, which means that it's going to actually generate a web page that this SWF goes into, and it is going to view the SWF after exporting, which will launch your default browser, so you will be able to preview this SWF. It will convert all of the text, the InDesign text, to Flash text. It is going to include all the buttons, hyperlinks, page transitions, yes and include an interactive page curl, which is really what I want to show you once we open up this document. Just as a note, not all buttons work in SWF. Some of them only work for PDFs. That's why you're actually able to, let me show you this, file, export. Not only can you export as an SWF, but you can now export as an XFL file, which you're able to open and edit inside of Flash, and then you could actually make the buttons work again inside of Flash. But for right now, for what we're doing, we're just choosing regular SWF, and I'm going to click Save. Back to this same window, we could also choose image compression at the bottom, the quality of the JPEG and curves. We're going to just leave this at the default, and I'm going to click OK, and now it's going to generate an SWF file. Once this file opens up in my default browser, which on this machine is Internet Explorer, we're going to be able to see how these page transitions work from one page to the next. And allow block content, sure. Okay, now that I have this on a, on a page here inside of Internet Explorer, notice that when I go to the bottom right hand corner of the page, I now get this little page turn where I click and it just automatically turns to the other page. Now I can also go to the top left corner if I want to go back to the first page. So it's this really great navigation now built in to this SWF that was generated using page transitions out of Adobe InDesign CS4.